Hello guys, welcome back. <laughs> I look like a ghost in this lighting. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. David and I just got back with the dogs from a, I would say like, what would you say, like 30, 45 minute walk? Yeah, that sounds good. It's hot out. I'm definitely looking a little rough right now. Um, but we're going to clear out the living room really quick and do some lifts, do a little workout. And then later today, we are gonna go down to the beach. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. Um, I just got back from Texas this last week. So since I traveled, I, um, and I went back for a funeral. It wasn't just, you know, for something fun or a visit or whatever. A friend of mine passed away. So I went back for the funeral. And um, since I did travel out of state, I'm just staying at home and we're doing things like outside where we can be away from other people um, because I need to make sure that, you know, I don't have the virus. I did get tested as soon as I landed and I should be getting those results soon um, just to be safe. But yeah, we're trying to have a fun weekend and you know, still do stuff, but things that are away from other people. So the beaches are still not very busy and we'll be able to go there and like lay out and swim and just hang out, do something fun for the weekend. But right now we're going to do a workout and I'll film that for you guys. So, welcome to the vlog, little weekend vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. vlogging and I was gonna show you guys this recipe and I'm almost done with it but um, I actually shared this in my last video it's the chickpea chicken salad it's just a can of chickpeas you just rinse them and then you kind of mash them up and then I have some onion some white onion and some celery in here this is super good on sandwiches or you can have it with crackers um, yeah really easy really delicious so I'm making this so we can take it to the beach with us Guys, this is so good. It takes like 10 minutes to make tops. I think the only thing that takes a long time is obviously chopping stuff up. You could also use a food processor and just throw everything in if you want to. Um, but yeah, super quick, super easy, and it tastes so good. And then I just showed you guys the multi-grain crackers that we use. We just get those in bulk from Costco. I'm gonna taste it, make sure the flavor is on point. I 
like to make mine spicy too. It's amazing. So I'm gonna pack this stuff up, pack a little cooler, and I'm also gonna wash some blueberries and raspberries to take with us. I got some green juices yesterday I'm gonna pack, and then we'll be on our way. Look at me. <laughs> you guys, look how silly we look. These uh, chairs are sick though, and I will link them below. I think we got them on Amazon, right? Yeah. That looks so funny. My mask and a freaking backpack chair. <laughs> but we found a really good spot right by this walkway. Where are we? We're in Newport, huh? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. No, no, Sunset Beach. Sunset, oh, Sunset Beach. <laughs> If you guys watched my last beach vlog, um, I'll link it above if you guys haven't seen it. But the last time we went to the beach, I was like super stoked about it. I was so excited. I was like, it's gonna be the best beach day ever. I'm gonna go swimming. And then it was freezing and windy. And once again, I was super stoked <laughs> to come to the beach today. And while David's all right, I am covered in goosebumps and it's so cold and it's cloudy. Like it's nice and pretty and it's great to get out and get some fresh air. But I am bummed that it's not like really hot and sunny because I was looking forward to maybe trying to get in the water. It is nice because there's not, I mean there's a lot of people at the beach but everyone's spaced out really well. Like we have no one even near, near us at all. We have yet to have like that perfect beach day where the weather's nice and you can swim and like, yeah every time we bring these chairs and it's time to pack them up we can never get them closed and when i say we just mean david because i don't even try and i just stand here and laugh at him and watch him try to do it <laughs> good morning guys it is nine o'clock sunday morning i've been laying in bed since like eight o'clock and just decided to get up I think David's still sleeping. Ooh, it's nice outside right now. I don't know what we're doing today, but whatever we end up doing, I will vlog it for you guys. I think I'm gonna go make some coffee and figure out something for breakfast, take the dogs out and all that stuff. And um, I think we'll probably just like go on a walk today, maybe work out, but I'll keep it updated. Got you coffee. Oh, your dad's awake. <laughs> oh, very happy.
who's up? Decided to join the day. We have this cookbook. I think I've talked about it on this channel. Well, I've definitely talked about it on my channel before. Thug Kitchen. Um, this cookbook was like the first plant-based cookbook that I used. And I have made like probably, I don't know, at least like 10 different things out of it. It's like my go-to or our go-to cookbook. But David found this recipe God, it's been like, what, two weeks now? Two or three weeks at this point? That we wanted to make, and it takes a little while. It's called Crispy Millet and Peanut Butter Buckeyes. Let me show you guys. So I picked up the ingredients for it like two weeks ago. We just haven't made it yet, but we're gonna make it today. We're gonna make it like early, because I think it has to, does it have to like sit in the fridge for a while for the chocolate to harden? I actually, like to do more of the cooking. <clears throat> and David is better at the baking stuff because it takes precision and like measuring things out. That's not really my thing. I like to just kind of be like, oh, let's try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't like to follow recipes. <laughs> but David has the patience to do it. Have any of you ever cooked with millet before? This is definitely our first time. I'm not even sure what it is. To be honest, I'm gonna have to do a little Google searching. like almost one o'clock I think that's what we're doing right now um, I just got done kind of doing like a quick cleanup of the house like stripped the sheets and vacuumed and cleaned the bathrooms and finally unpacked from my trip this last weekend and um, yeah just getting the house like ready for the week and we just cleared out the Every time I pick up my camera, you guys, that's when Sky decides that she wants to start playing. Like every freaking time. Sky, hey. Well, that's not gonna stop. They're playing tug war. It's cute. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that we kind of cleared out the living room space here. This is what we've been doing like for our workouts. We just push the table aside and we'll use like this area and then the guest bedroom as well. I think I'm gonna go in there so I can like be on the yoga mat. I'm gonna do arms and abs today. I'll film a little bit of it for you guys, but I'm definitely feeling a little insecure about my upper body right now because that's where I carry a lot of my extra weight and I have definitely put on the pounds since quarantine. So I'm just feeling a little soft up there. Ooh. Huh. Good Thank you. shower and I'm gonna get some dinner started um, so this is like a ricotta pasta bake it's a lasagna but I don't use lasagna noodles so um, I don't know can you call it lasagna if you don't use the lasagna pasta I don't know I call this a cheesy ricotta tofu ricotta pasta bake 
So first thing is I'm going to get the ricotta going. The ricotta is just made out of tofu and I'm gonna make a huge batch of this so we can have some tonight and then some tomorrow as well. So the first thing you're gonna do is get a block of extra firm tofu, drain it, and then you want to, I just use a towel so I don't have to use like a million paper towels. I use a clean towel and just like wrap it in the towel to get all the extra liquid out because you want it to be like as dry as possible. I'm just gonna use this cutting board. And then I'm gonna set that aside while I'm chopping up my veggies. So all you're gonna need is some minced garlic, an onion, I just do one tomato. And then um, your noodles, whatever noodles you want. I think today I'm going to use these far falling, far fall? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna use these noodles today. You can use whatever noodles you want. I think I said it in this video earlier, but like I'm not really a person that like measures everything out. I just kind of like eyeball it. So you just do, you just do you. You put whatever you want in it as much as you want. Um, so while I'm chopping everything up, I'm gonna let that kind of drain and let the towel like soak up all the extra juices. And then here in a minute, I'll get the water boiling and get the pasta going because everything else is super quick. Um, you can do this with just veggies. You don't have to add like a meat alternative or anything, but I like to add um, the Beyond Meat, uh, like, the, like the burger meat, not the Beyond Meat crumbles. I'm not even sure that they make those anymore. I haven't seen them in a while, but I just, I never really liked those. So either Beefless Browns by Gardein or Beyond Meat, like uh, the ground uh, beef that they came out with. That to me tastes the best. So this is super simple. It's just the ricotta pasta with some of the Beyond Meat. Um, add whatever veggies you would like. And then you put it into a pan. I put the oven at like 350. I just put it into like a deep dish and layer everything on and mix it all together and top it with a bunch of Dea mozzarella cheese. And then once all the cheese is melted, like that's pretty much it. It's super simple, it tastes amazing. And the tofu ricotta tastes like actual ricotta. It's so creamy and it has like the best flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the ricotta. And then I just use my hands and crumble it up. Looks like popcorn in the camera. And then I'm gonna add like half of this container of hummus. This is garlic hummus. This is a 16 ounce container, so you're gonna use about eight ounces. And then you're going to add nutritional yeast. Kind of as much as you want. I know that the original recipe for this, like a friend sent it to me, and it did have specific measurements, but I haven't really followed those ever since making it the first time. I kind of just eyeball it and add as much as I want. I love nutritional yeast. It's super good for you. Lots of B12 and has iron and protein. So good. And then I'm just gonna add some basil. And lastly, this Mrs. Dash Italian medley. I'm just gonna put what's left in this container and that's it and you just mix it up and set it to the side while you're doing the rest of the cooking and then I'll show you guys later how I layer this all in to the pan smells so good and tastes amazing Do. 
Literally, like, what do I do? <laughs> it didn't get positive. <laughs> that will kiss me! I'm vlogging today. Say hi. Hello. Oh, hello. Don't show this. You can only see your chin. <laughs> Freaking out. You see Lila, though. Lila! Guys, look at this baby. She's blind. <laughs> She's blind. Look at her. She ain't looking at you. We're finally gonna try our little. Dude, they're from uh, that. And it's surprising that they're so good because there's like a cup of peanut butter and a quarter cup of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing. And then, uh, like, oh my god. You, I'm assuming you guys have cocoa powder like that. This looks so official. <laughs> I have you guys up on a tripod, and I like we're doing a little sit down right now. But really, I just didn't want to hold up the camera because my shoulders hurt from working out today. I just wanted to close out this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for the weekend. Got some recipes, some workouts, a little beach day. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye.